what is up guys it's your boy here jersey flex back with another video go down hit that subscribe button stay tuned to this channel i appreciate all your love and support um as you guys could tell by the title of this video today we are going to be talking about tarina ball or t-ball rather um many of you guys have used this probably as a kickstarter to a steroid cycle being that it's an oral it's going to be a little bit more fast acting or many of you guys have um uh what's it called use this as pre-workouts uh some of you guys may have clicked on this video because your gym buddies might be taking some t-ball or you might have heard the the word t-ball be thrown around in a gym environment and you guys are interested in steroids and want to learn a little bit more about the compound well you kind of clicked on the right video today so we're going to begin discussing a little bit about t-ball tarina ball uh before we get into all that i'm going to ask that you guys go subscribe as i mentioned earlier and we are going to roll that freaking intro video boom maybe it's a new beginning welcome back guys so um as you guys can see from that title um i put this in the beginning of every single video that i make i have to put a medical disclaimer just to let all you guys know that i'm obviously a gym bro i'm not a doctor i wear a gold chain not a stethoscope around my neck you guys have to understand that everything that is said in this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only in no way shape or form am i making this content to prescribe treat or cure any medical issues or ailments of any sort if you guys are actually experiencing something like low testosterone please seek the advice and consultation of a medical professional which i am neither of those things so Please enjoy this video and learn about T-Ball. So what exactly is Tarina Ball? Let's give a little bit of uh, some of the history on Tarina Ball. Pretty interesting compound. Really great Kickstarter. You guys might have heard me say that at the beginning of this video. T-Ball is very fast acting because it's an oral compound. Most oral compounds begin working kind of within the first hour or two of the first dose really peak in their capability after a week or two because they kind of build up inside your system and the incredible thing in my opinion about t-ball is the half-life that it has it stays in your system much much longer than the other compounds that i've mentioned here on this channel and that i've made reviews about um it stays in your system for a whopping 19 hours, 16 to 19 hours. Most compounds, the shortest one being D-Ball, stays in your system for about four, Winstrol for about seven to nine, and Anivar was basically around nine, very similar half-life to Winstrol. Anivar definitely takes the longest, second to Terinabol, T-Ball, uh, so, um, and now that we've kind of mentioned a little bit about uh, D-Ball, let's kind of explain a little bit of what T-Ball does in comparison to D-Ball, Diana-Ball, and Tarina-Ball. Um, T-Ball is basically everything that D-Ball is minus the estrogen conversion. So there's a lot of guys out there that waste the money on uh, D-Ball D-Ball is a fairly cheap compound, but you are also going to have the added price of an AI. You're going to have to take an, um, an estrogen, uh, what's it called, inhibitor, an, a an, an AI basically, aromatized inhibitor, I'm sorry, to uh, prevent any estrogenic side effects from occurring. 
But with T-ball, there's no conversion into estrogen, so you're not going to really need an AI, uh, an aromatized inhibitor such as like a Rimidex or Novidex or anything like that. You can basically take T-ball on its own, but I recommend taking it with testosterone or EQ, in my opinion. It's a great combination with anything testosterone-related or uh, Nor-19 compound, so... Um, basically a little bit about the history. It was originally designed in East Germany and in East Germany, they were, um, giving it to athletes. And later on, they were discovering that these athletes were enhanced with anabolics and same as the history with anything went into further studies and later on got banned. So very similar history to many steroids. Um, basically it's a golden era steroid, same as many of the other traditional steroids that we see and use today. And again, I'm not your doctor and I'm not recommending the usage of any of these things. This video is just kind of teaching you a brief overview about the compound. So you guys can learn a little bit about T-ball, kind of just sharing the stuff off the top of my head that I've learned over time about it, just from me and my friends using it. Um... Dosage wise, that is something else that I do kind of want to discuss because most of you guys who are watching this probably want to learn about it and maybe considering taking some T-ball for yourselves. So I figured it's only fair to kind of cover a little bit uh, briefly about um, what are the doses kind of like. I recommend and how long should you run it for as well. That's also another concern because with uh, any oral compound you guys do know, there comes the risk of liver toxicity, which is a very uh, true and apparent thing with these compounds that a lot of people don't really take into consideration, unfortunately, and they experience issues down the road, which is pretty sad in my opinion, because, you know, nobody should really undergo those kinds of things. You know, you should always take precaution and know how to take these things in the right way. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the dosage, I would take about 20 to 40 milligrams a day, uh, staying more so on the lower side, 20 milligrams should be more than enough. And there's a lot of people that like taking, if you're just trying to do like an oral only stack, they'll take, uh, 20 uh, milligrams of Diana ball, D ball and 20 milligrams of T ball. And that way they can also avoid the added cost of a, um, of an AI as well, an aromatized inhibitor. But one thing to keep in mind too is that T-ball is actually very cheap. It's very, very cheap. So it also gives you that dry look as well. So there's no added water weight. It's a great alternative to Anavar, uh, but it is way more toxic than Anavar is. So you would only, and this kind of brings it back to the topic of discussion, how long should you run it for? Uh, in my opinion, I don't think that T-ball should ever be ran longer than four to six weeks. Six weeks kind of being a maximum thing. Uh, it is very rough on your liver. So make sure that you definitely do run an, um, a, what's it called? Not an AI, a, a liver support alongside with it. Some Tudka, some milk thistle, anything to kind of protect your liver from getting that e extra added damage. Take all your liver supports, make sure you keep those enzymes in check, and drink plenty of water to help filter it all out. Um, that's basically all I can really say. Expect massive uh, strength gains. I, I saw some great strength gains, some great pumps. Oh, and that's another to topic I kind of have to cover for you guys who are endurance athletes. This is not... A steroid that you'd want to take for endurance long distance running or uh, any kind of endurance performance sports sprinting is okay and strength and power lifting that's okay so the pumps are going to be there you're going to get cramps really bad cramps if you start taking this for long distance and cross country and cycling this is not the steroid for that this is more for a hundred meter dash uh quick sprints powerlifting that kind of steroid so 
keep that in mind go down hit that subscribe button i believe i kind of covered everything as briefly as i could and sorry if i'm kind of like half asleep right now it is very late over here kind of just want to make this video so you guys have something to watch and learn from go down hit that subscribe button and we're gonna roll that freaking outro video boom no!